Okay, so this is the Shock Wonder Mark II Plasma Bug Zapper. It's a portable plasma bug zapper that uses two TV transformers and puts out probably 30 kilovolts. We'll take a look at that in a second. But it's one thing to have high voltage and to, you know, play around with a chicken stick, with uh, a TV transformer and ZVS. That's all good, but it's another thing to have it portable. And that's what I've done here. We get our power from these big fat lithium batteries and that's, uh, that's managed by this circuit back here and then that goes through a switch turns on a 40 amp relay and then we have our choke and the rest of the ZVS circuitry if you do high voltage stuff you'll be familiar with the Matsili driver so what I've done here is I put two TV transformers in series because just one TV transformer wouldn't really give you uh, an appreciable voltage I want a lot of current, I want a lot of voltage at the business end. And just one TV transformer with, you know, 15, 16 volts at the input, it doesn't cut it. So we put two in parallel, so now we can draw like 25, uh, 22, 25 amps, thereabouts. So I'll show you guys in a second some of the technical specs we'll, we'll go through, maybe even with the oscilloscope, we'll take a look at this. But, but this is what it does. So you have these two electrodes. And you, uh, you pull on the trigger here of the grabber. I don't think this is what the intended use of these grabbers uh, were, but that's what I've done with it. So you pull on the trigger, and it brings electrodes together. Here on the top, you have a trigger switch. You trigger it with your thumb. So you press that, and you bring the electrodes together until it arcs over. And then you can bring the electricity to a bug, for example. So here, see if we get, get this in shot. Here I have a fly, poor fly. This fly is basically dying and it's been bothering me in my lab for like two days. So I think we're gonna shock this fly just to give you guys an idea of what this is used for. So about four years ago we had a, a big stink bug outbreak in New York and and that's what we used it for. I'll show you something cool. You can shock the ground under the insects and it'll usually uh, kill them. See that? So I didn't even I didn't even have to touch the bug I just shocked the surface under it and that was enough from the uh, from the electric field to basically electrocute it. Now we can just give it a quick zap. So now it's done. So that's the uh, that's that's the shock wonder mark two. That's what it does to uh, an innocent fly, you know, poor innocent fly, just uh, the exact fly that goes and flies around and poop on the street and then comes in your house and thinks it can uh, go uh, fetch your yogurt. That happened to me. So anyway, that's what it does to a fly. Let's see what it does to a uh, human analog. So here I have uh, hot dog. This is a, uh, you know, uh, I don't think we have the, the data sheet. Actually, these hot dogs do have a data sheet. It's called the Nutrition Facts. Maybe we'll have to take a look at that in a second. But this is a, uh, this is a uh, Hebrew National hot dog. Uh, a good analog for the human finger. And we're going to see what uh, the Shock Wonder Mark II does to it. See if we could uh, cook it. Put the electrodes in there. You can feel it. You can feel it really uh, boiling inside. See that? So we're completely vaporizing the hot dog flesh, and that's getting pretty stinky. But uh, that's a good idea of what this would do if you put your finger inside it. I don't want my finger to ever look like that. So uh, how about how about you know, we got the ring stand out because they're doing proper science. How about, uh, how about I cut that open to show you guys. I think I have, yep, that was in my pocket. I'll cut that open just to see what they would do at the hospital. Well, I guess it cauterizes itself, so, uh, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. 
got the hot dog open and oh tis but a flesh wound isn't it but uh, a nasty one at that so that's what it would do to human flesh you know pork is a good analog for human flesh I, I guess um, we'll get a ruler out and we'll show you guys the what it, what it does you know what that arc length is when it starts up it should be about like 10 kilovolts per centimeter we'll get a ruler out and we'll show you guys it's gotta be a plastic ruler because a metal ruler won't work and uh, I think what I should do is I should uh, just kind of clean those electrodes so we can get a better idea of uh, the voltage on this thing you know because grease is a dielect a dielectric okay so clean electrodes and uh, neat thing is because this is a, a grabber you can take the grabber you close it and you can rotate it so now it's vertical see that so uh, how about I come over here and uh, show you guys what that looks like so we're looking for the uh, the distance for that arc to start okay so so I go like this, I turn it on, and I'm going to bring those electrodes together. How about we start at uh, the 15 mark? So there's 15. So I counted 15, uh, so that went from 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, so that's, that's got to be 3 centimeters. 30 kilovolts around there, we're, we're in the basement. Uh, so I guess it could be a little bit hu humid. We do have our dehumidifier running, but uh, three centimeters. I'll give you guys that. You know, and to get that current at three centimeters for uh, the startup arc length, getting this current out of, you know, just a battery pack this small, that's pretty good. Oh, and there is a, another serious benefit to this, because it's portable and because you guys are in a GoPro. I can actually mount the GoPro on this, and uh, we can take it out for a spin. So how about we do that, put the electrodes back like this, and I'll mount the GoPro uh, so, you could guy, so you guys can see uh, kind of the business end, what it looks like, you know, aiming down. Alright, that should be good. I don't think my hand is uh, in the way too much. But uh, how about we take this outside and we'll see what bugs we can scare up. I think this little block of wood is fair game. We'll give that a go. So it does burn wood, that's good. What else? A leaf? Okay. Oh, this is one of the big black ants that hangs around on our front porch. I think that's for a game. I'll do that thing where you shock just the ground uh, under it. See that? And uh, just shocking the ground under it. Oh, this guy's fast. Is that an ant? There you go. Shocking the ground under it. And uh, killed another ant. Just shocking the ground under it. You know, one of the things that people don't realize is that concrete is pretty conductive at high voltage. What's that? That's a snail? That's not a snail anymore. That's just a snail shell. So I draw the arc, right? Okay. And you run towards somebody. And that's really, really freaking frightening. Let's show you again do an experiment I want to see if we can uh, get this pickle to be kind of like a portable light source you know because you run high high energy you know plasma through a pickle and it should light up pretty well so how about I take uh, I uh, turn off all my all the lights in my lab it is very well lit since I've been um, uh, since I've been filming this video and we'll see what the pickle can do 
stick one of the ends in. We'll do that. Stick the other electrode in. That's good, isn't it? And uh, there's my blue moon sign. We'll see what uh, if we can light up my uh, my equipment here. I don't know. Huh. Doesn't want to start up because uh, maybe it's under too heavy of a load. So now it's fine. What if I put the pickle on the ground first and then I kind of shock it? That was really weird. Oh well, I guess it picked up some of the salt and now my sparks are all red. That's the emission spectra from sodium. But I shock across the pickle and. and I guess the pickle itself doesn't really want to light up too much. I guess it's more just the, the red arc from the sodium. Here we'll do like a like a how-to basic thing. There we go. We get this back down there. That is really violent on the hot dog. I guess that's how you can make a hot dog with um, pickles, is you kind of stomp on it afterward and then throw a bunch of eggs at it, but I don't have the egg budget a egg budget that uh, How To Basic does. So anyway, uh, how about I put you guys, put you guys here. So that's my, that's my device. Shock Wonder Mark II Plasma Bug Zapper. And I hope you guys liked it. I have I have a laser gun. It's going to be called the Matamos McKinsey Mill. I'm still working on it. It's going to shoot out lasers from the front end and it's going to track flies and basically kill them. But uh, for you high voltage guys, I hope you guys liked that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks. Till next time.